Hi everyone and welcome to end of chapter 8, start of chapter 9 for the dark side and once again we are joined by the lovely, precious, beautiful Susie and Steph. Привет, comrade. Hello there, everyone. <laughs> oh my. Firstly, I'm gonna I'm gonna save first because you know what happens if I don't save. We all die. Yes. Please save game. All right, comrade. Don't let us down. Yes, save. Glory to Aristotska. Papers, please. Uh, <laughs> Papers. <laughs> We had been sitting on the other side of the lake for several minutes. Adrian demanded absolute silence from them jerking us. <laughs> he sent a few shadows as spies on the other side. Madeline did everything her brother asked for. There, there was no doubt that she was her brother. But I was upset that she was just fine with the terms of my deal. With Adrian, I tried not to think what Gabriel would do when he found out what I had promised. Hey. The main thing was to save him. Are we sure about that? Do we want to? Never mind, separating darkness, the shadow flew to its master. I guess she told him what they had found out. If this turns out to be the skin flop monsters from Silent Hill, I'll be worried. <laughs> oh. <laughs> but Adrian turned to us. As I expected, Gabriel made a deal with Vital. The demon will let go of Fernand if his brother solves three riddles. <laughs> oh shit. You're right. Like, oh no. <laughs> oh god, I, fl I flunked riddles class. <laughs> what kind of riddles? That's so childish. I like that scene in uh, Monty Python was like, they call me Tim. <laughs> like, I, oh, yeah. <laughs> I, I love it so much. Like, because I like how, wasn't that like an ad lib because he forgot the name? Because it's apparently this really long name that he was supposed to say. And he just went, Tim. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, they call me Tim. <laughs> <laughs> like, Diana, first of all, there's like some really stupid riddles, like those that that Sphinx asked for like a traveler to let them pass on or like to totally kill. You can't figure it out so like quickly. So like, but even if Gabriel can guess them, which is like totally by the way, Is like quite totally likely because he's like smart and stuff. <laughs> smart and shit. Vital <laughs> will never let his brother go. Most likely he'll plan, he will, like, he planned to deceive him somehow. <coughs> that tickled my throat. Oh, <laughs> nope, don't do that. Adrian carried us across the lake and left one one. <laughs> left one one! <laughs> Next one eight. One one eight. <laughs> uh, you left you left a character from the Cartoon Network show Infinity Train, which, by the way, if you've never seen, it's awesome. Oh. And <laughs> there actually is a character called One One in that cartoon. It's so funny. At a time near the place where Gabriel stood in front of the one of the what demon, <laughs> preparing to solve his riddles. I could hear Gabriel's voice from the place where I was hiding. Always so confident. He seemed to be afraid of nothing at all. And that, oh god, that just reminded me of the Simpsons. I know. Quote was yeah. Start sexy flangers! <laughs> yeah. It feels like I'm wearing nothing at all. <laughs> Another voice echoed to him. Creaky. Almost whispering. <laughs> I finally got a better look at the creature. Pale, almost gray, skin cracked and peeled off, exposing bones. It's Jeez. creepy, mommy. D what? <laughs> <laughs> that got political up in here, up in here, up in here. <laughs> it's the former UK brain minister. <laughs> His eyes. 
the word cloudy and he smelled awful. He's a gamer. Apparently the body was in the process of decomp Oh my god, this is too good. Of decomposition when Beetle took it. Wouldn't it have been more dramatic if it was a butler? Like if it was actually like the butler instead? Like how creepy would yeah. that be? He would just come on going, Hello Diana. <laughs> Your soul. Power. <laughs> oh. the, the power. <laughs> oh my god. Since Adrian had left us on the leeward side. The what? Someone Google it. <laughs> the leeward side? Okay, I'm gonna have to pull it up. Because it might be another word we don't know. <laughs> it might be. But the leeward side. Ooh, it looks to be a real phrase. I've just never heard that before. Huh. Huh. Interesting. Uh, windward and leeward is the direction downwind from the point of reference. Okay. Ah, cool. Never heard that before. Cool. I learned something. Uh, so that Gabriel couldn't feel us. The stench from the uh, decayed demon beat me in my nostrils every now and then. Ow! Ow! Fucking smelly feet. <laughs> I wondered how Gabriel could bear standing next to that smelly <laughs> monster. <laughs> oh! Whoa! So, my friend. Oh, no! Oh, no! I must do one. <laughs> like... <laughs> so, my friend, are you ready? Don't waste my time, monster. Let's get it over with. The demon sneered, revealing black and rare teeth. Actually, they're white because you can see them right here. Yeah. A wave of new disgusting stench came to me. Oh my god, you smell a Febreze. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be cool. <laughs> I, I actually like I hurried to... Plug my nose with my hand so that I wouldn't vomit. You don't vomit out your nose unless at, you're very unlucky. At night, they come without being fetched. And by day, they're lost without being stolen. What are they? He's very well spoken for a demon. Uh, Gabriel frowned for a moment, but immediately regained his usual confident look. I didn't think the riddles would be for children. The answer is stars. The creature was not upset at all and took a few steps forward. Right. So handsome. So young. And so smart. <laughs> I got goosebumps from such praise. It wasn't you, Diana. Calm down. <laughs> I'm the part of the bird that's not in the sky. I can swim in the ocean and yet remain dry. What am I? Penguin! <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. This is the way you said it so quickly. Then you said the penguin! <laughs> well, ga wait, Gab Gabrielle? <laughs> Who's Gabrielle? Oh no. Gabrielle. Who is we're soaring? We're flying. <laughs> oh no, we're going to high school music. You're going to the places where you've never reached before. <laughs> While Gabrielle was reflecting. <laughs> oh my god, Beetle slowly came closer. I looked at the demon. He was unarmed, but nonetheless. We're flying. <laughs> There was a danger in the way he approached, as if hunting for a victim. Troy's over there, try him! The shadow right, demon. It's a part of the boat, and always dry. One more riddle, the last one, and you. Wait, yes. I, do, I got it wrong! I got it wrong! <laughs> Let go of my brother and me. Let go! You got in me. <laughs> you got the brother in me. <laughs> All right. Um. Battle, mm. battle hissed, but his wicked smile terrified me more than his voice. 
<laughs> I felt. You be quiet, you. I felt someone <laughs> touched my shoulder. Adrian motioned for me to be silent, then pointed to Beetle's shadow. I was hor pardon me. I was horrified to find that the shadow of the demon was slightly different from the original figure. The blade in the creature's hands was clearly visible on the black silhouette. It wriggled like a oh my. <laughs> it wriggled like a snake and was at least 15 inches in size. Yeah, it's a big snake. That is. <laughs> the demon, meanwhile, was close. Enough to strike with his invisible weapon. Oh, it's like Yu Gi Oh! branched invisible gun. <laughs> <laughs> I have a gun. It's not my two fingers. <laughs> I, I turned to Adrian in horror. Why does your shirt look like a vagina? <laughs> he has the vegetables. <laughs> oh my god. Touch me. Expecting him. No. <laughs> Expecting him to take action. Still silent, he pointed at Madeline. To my surprise, she was not nearby anymore. She moved away from the cave, pulling the string of her bow. Madeline aimed somewhere in the direction of Gabriel and Beetle. I had no doubt in her unique a accuracy. All completely, completely what? Completely what? Covered the creature with himself. He had a blanket. How? <laughs> how it possible to hit the creature without hurting her brother? How it's possible to hit? <laughs> <laughs> Me hit. Me hit demon on head. Boom, 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 boom. <laughs> bam, 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 bam. <laughs> <laughs> oh god, bam, bam. Bam, bam. I love bam, bam. Oh, yeah, bam, bam, bam. <laughs> <laughs> Not logging coming. <laughs> oh no, they forgot an S. It's impossible. She was aiming at Gabriel. I looked at Adrian and horror. What are they up to? Oh no! And what they are up to? The last riddle, <laughs> my friend. Two more steps toward Gabriel. Now he was only one step away from the young man. Two steps forward and two steps back. <laughs> what can run but never walks? Has a mouth but never talks? Has a head but never weeps? Has a bed? But never sleeps. Um. Hmm. Run well, water know. water. Maybe. Uh, further events. It might be. <clears throat> further events started to move too fast to be able to analyze them or prepare for the consequence. Suddenly, the wind changed its direction and blew on our side. Gabriel reacted with lightning speed. Turning abruptly, he saw Madeline's arrow. And Adam, apparently known ab about, about. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> about, about. Even, <laughs> even, one, one. <laughs> oh god. About, about the agility and lightning speed of her half. Brother, Madeline hoped that Gabriel would safely dodge the arrow flying at him and at the same time avoid the blow with the dagger. All that happened when Beetle had already swung to strike all, all that, yeah, whatever, strike Gabriel. I, I couldn't read. After a successful trick with an arrow, the wind, which already, which already reveal us became more like a hurricane. This impulse tore the demon off the ground and threw him to the trunk of a tree. Is this fan fiction though? Maybe. <laughs> oh, this is always bad fan fiction since the beginning. <laughs> yeah, I know. It's got even worse. This blow was not enough to knock the creature out. Perhaps because he was already dead. Maddened by a sudden violation of his plans, Vito made another desperate attempt to attack Gabriel. 
Judging by the fact that the young man stood still and looked around nervously, perhaps searching for me because he also sensed my presence for sure, he still did not suspect the danger. Could I stop monologuing? Emanating from Vita. <laughs> I realized, and then, <clears throat> I realized that I was the only one who could protect Gabriel from the invisible day. Is it bad that if this was a TV show, I'd probably watch it? <laughs> like, like I, I'd watch the fuck out of it if we could do the voices for everybody. <laughs> Jumping out of my hiding place, I rushed to him and threw myself in front of stunned Gabriel. I thought this was the end. But nothing touched me. Only a bright light flashed and blinded everything oh, around. Oh, gas make a light! Oh, <laughs> oh, God. I thought the light was coming out of me. I closed my legs. I felt some energy rushing oh. out of my chest. <laughs> so, even Belle looked at me like, Mommy, stop that. <laughs> no. That's just weird. Suddenly, everything... Stopped. I fell to my knees. Some <laughs> human remains lay near me. Not some. 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 The demon was. Some. The demon was gone. Well, I was. Sorry, I was eating something. <laughs> Diana. Diana, are you okay? No, don't shame me. I love you. I love you. <laughs> <laughs> Gabriel sat down next to me. <laughs> oh God! He coughed just, like so much in there. <laughs> yeah, just imagine it, huh? What happened? That thing wanted to stab me with a dagger. I didn't notice it until the last moment. You covered me with a blanket. <laughs> But as soon as the dagger barely touched your chest, a white light poured over everything. Oh. It made me hot. <laughs> <laughs> oh! Whoa! I, I would turn blind, and when it stopped, the demon seemed to disappear. That's good, right? Gabriel smiled at me and helped to get up. <laughs> sure, that's a sentence. Very well. I'm glad you disobeyed me, Simba. And this happens very <laughs> well. He gently stroked my cheek and softly touched my lower lip. I handed him hand sanitizer, said, Go to the bathroom now, get this shit done, <laughs> and then you can come back and do I realized that now he would kiss me, but not like back. Then, more chicken tenderly. I wanted it so badly, but behind my back, I could see the flapping of strong, giant wings. So, that was not going to happen. No, Gabriel, you won't be glad about it. <laughs> <laughs> Your friend pulled me closer, sternly looking at Adrian. <laughs> we saved brothers, both of them. One, <laughs> two... Diana, <laughs> it's time to yeah. keep your promise. Come to my Libya. Oh no! <laughs> he held out his hand. Gabriel's embrace became even tighter. Stay where you are. What kind of promise, Diana? Oh boy. Here we go. Like, Gabriel, totally little girl. She like totally stays with Adrian. Hell no. Oh. oh! You like totally have no choice. He like helped to save you and Fernand. That's like the price. Like, hello. <laughs> and if I refuse. I saw how the cheekbones of my protector tightened. He must have had some work done. He was ready for anything, but was I ready to see him risk his life for me? Nah. It's very simple, Wolf. Your brother is still hanging <laughs> upside down a few meters from here. 
There are at least six shadows around him right now. All I have to do is think about it. And nothing humane will remain of the boy. Didn't they mean human? Probably. Probably. Humane. Uh, I think they were playing Wheel of Fortune and bought an extra bell. Yeah. <laughs> it was a real threat. Adrian didn't enjoy- Nobody would enjoy the idea, you silly bism. But I knew he'd keep his prom. Oh, I enjoy this idea greatly. Go, my girlfriend. Uh, <laughs> I knew he'd keep his prom if I didn't do as we agree. Like, no, Gabriel liked probably like Diana Gell. It's like to not for you to decide. Gabriel, I made my choice. <laughs> for a man must not be hard. I spoke quietly. So only Gabriel can hear me! I will remember you. Thank you for everything. I'm sorry for that, but I will be safe with him. He can't hear me. The forever in the dark. <laughs> <laughs> I felt his grip loosen. He still held me. Wait. But <laughs> now I can free myself from him with a little effort. I had to do that before Adrian made good on his threat. Evan moved away from Gabriel. On impulse, I rushed to him and kissed him. You, you were just standing right there. How did you get that far away? In the end, I'll have to remember something while I'm here for eternity. You know, while you're here for eternity. You're not waiting on a bus! Ha! <laughs> <laughs> I'm just waiting here for a turn. If, if you're in the Abbey Moor, you're waiting on a bus for that long. A turn <laughs> And then it doesn't... <laughs> they say those buses, they lie. <laughs> if Adrian thinks he can win my heart... There are no buses. Over time, then he is wrong. Because it's already taken. I mean, Gabriel just swept me off my feet with his grunting and his sneerness and, you know. <laughs> yeah, his hat. <laughs> Gabriel, Gabriel eagerly returned my kiss and for the last time, frantically hugged me. Makes it. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> <laughs> I, saw, I saw pain and despair in his eyes. I'd hit his crotch. And anger. <laughs> his, his once blue eyes turned black. I've never seen Gabriel like that before. Nobody has because they didn't want him to animate it. Holding Adrian's hand, I looked to Gabriel. I didn't care about my promise. I wanted to be with Gabriel. If it was possible now to run away with him and then close the portal, I swear I wouldn't hesitate for a second. Take your brother, Wolf, before I change my mind. Filled. What? Oh my god! Filled with ranger and contempt. Uh. <laughs> ranger who? Ranger Dave? Ranger Dan? The ranger of the north. Oh no. <laughs> Is it the ranger from Yogi Bear? I got a picnic basket. Gabriel <laughs> turned and walked to the tree where Fernand was hanging. My heart will go on. <laughs> the farther Gabriel went, the harder it was for me to breathe. He had my lungs, you see. I didn't know how much time had passed since Gabriel left. Maybe a few hours, maybe minutes. I surrendered to my grief and sat motionless on the ground. Sometimes tears flow from my eyes, sometimes cheese puffs. <laughs> I, needed <to> mourn... <laughs> I needed to mourn my ruins. Next, my future. Gabriel, my father. I would never see them again. Adrian apparently sensed my condition. Okay. Of me and spend his time with the shadows. I wasn't interested in what he was doing. He could drop dead. Ah. Didn't give a damn. Man, oh my god, that would be amazing. 
with that voice to uh, have it as the last line for Gone with the Wind. Frankly, my dear, I don't give a damn. <laughs> I hope you drop dead. <laughs> Madeline left for Gabriel. Perhaps her help was needed to bring Fernand to life. He what? was fine up right there. He wasn't dead. The sound of approaching footsteps interrupted my dejection. Someone walked confidently towards us. Adrian reacted instantly and appeared next to me. There Why we go. Are you here again? He's coming with me. Well, it's fight of the labias. I can kick you out with a flick of my finger. I can put you in a cave where you'll have nightmares for the rest of your life. Or maybe I should just put you to sleep forever. You can't flick someone if you're kicking them. Adrian. <laughs> that makes no sense. Adrian was angry. I was certainly happy to see a Gabriel again. Gabriel. I was going to say Gabriel, <laughs> but he was in danger. <laughs> oh my god. You don't understand. I'm not afraid. If I leave now, I'll be back tomorrow. I'll come back every day. I'll walk 500 miles and I will walk 500 more to be the man <laughs> that will come back for Diana. <laughs> You'll have no peace as long as I'm alive and she's not with me. Gabriel, please don't. You <laughs> have to decide everything here and now. Gabriel deftly throwing the sword from one hand to the other, invited Adrian to a fight. It's next Tuesday, 7.30. Get the popcorn. <sighs> what a sophisticated grrr, way to take your own life. But <laughs> you're right. You can be very annoying if you want to. I already figured out that strong winds on the dark side appear by the will of Adrian. One of these monsoons... Monsoons to do with what rain. Mm. Threw Gabriel to the side, but he managed to stick his sword in the ground, so he stayed on his feet. The long furrow from his blade showed how powerful the gust was. I realized that no matter how strong Gabriel was, he could not stand the power of the lord of this world for long. The one who grew up here, to whom all natural... Chicken, I mean phenomena. Do 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 do. do, 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 do. And, and on whose side was all the shadows of this world? I had to do something. I'ma say Gabriel. The thing is, like, see when you see those memes about if a serial killer's hunting for you, so they start saying something that will get you caught, like I toss a coin, and then it's like to the witcher, like um, <laughs> like I literally if someone goes. In Scotland, ah, uh, a phenomena. We go do 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 and give away our spot and die instantly. <laughs> <laughs> That's actually what would happen. Oh yeah, absolutely. That's a great way to pull people out. Just like phenomena. Do do do. do oh, no, fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> and and I felt it. I can. The energy I had felt before was flowing through my veins again, and now it was concentrated in my palms. When the burning sensation became unbearable, unbearable I want to get vaginal cream and the force demanded police. <laughs> I um, will start using um, moisturizer for my sanitized hands. Yeah, let's please do that. It's chafing. Felt, I felt what I need to do and what the result would be. I stood between both men and swinging with all my Strength, I clapped my. Wait, what are you swinging? She, she's just like, I don't know, like, winging around in circles. Oh, fuck. <laughs> like, she's trying to stay, stay, like, Whoa! Oh my god! We. A rumble swept along the dark side and light shone from my hands, blinding everything around except me. I saw the light become material. It divided the world into a, a, it, in a half, creating a shiny wall. Adrian and I stood on one side. Uh, Gabriel on the other. Oh, damn. 
Adrian looked at me in surprise. Something else slipped in his eyes. Fear or maybe doubt. I still didn't care. Now I knew what I was capable of. I knew what I had to do next. But first, I had to say goodbye to Gabriel. Now definitely. Forever. I approached the barrier from my side and put my hand on it. Say Doctor Who. Oh no! Yeah! Gabriel did the same. What? For why? Por qué? Por qué? <laughs> His voice was sad and full of bitterness. Did I have... Yeah, I'll have cake. Did I have cho a choice? <laughs> oh my god, this game's making me stupid. It's making me skip words. The mere thought of leaving you forever kills me. But I should. Can you hear it in my voice? But I couldn't, I couldn't stand to be the reason of your death for it, for anything in the world. I'm so overcome with a man. You're smart, beautiful, and full of life. How could I let this happen? How could this happen to me? I made my mistakes. <laughs> You should have lived, not me. Oh, he's changed a lot. Oh, he has his shirt. He t he touched the light barrier with his forehead. <laughs> Ow! <laughs> I t I said touch it, not fucking do a Glasgow kiss. You fuck wit. A few of the shadows hovered near him in disbelief. They could not passed through the wall and now they were floating in the air in confusion not knowing what to do where do I go where do I go what do we do oh there's one I can't go there where do I go <laughs> Aww. oh oh my god they animated that oh holy shit whoa he looks like an elf why is he real tanned and he has no he trousers looks... on well, why does like he look why do I that's what I was about to say why does he look like an elf he has no <laughs> trousers on guys he doesn't. His no hair. hair's completely different there. Yeah. You have to start over, Gabriel. You deserve it. Do it for me. I am begging. You're the most wonderful. But... I've not met a lot of men, so I don't have a lot of options. <laughs> I wanted to start over with you. You gave me hope and a desire to live, but now what do I do when you're here? I want you to try. Do it for me. Look at me, Gabriel. Promise me. <laughs> can I? You're just a few meters away from me here in the dark. Because you will get up now, walk away, and never come back here again. Promise me, Gabriel. He looked at me bewildered. Leave this place. Live your life. This world will no longer bother. The wall is almost at the entrance of the ordinary world. Burn me so nothing and no one can overcome him. Go, Gabriel. Tell Madeline and Fernand I didn't like them. And what happened? <laughs> that concerns her too. And try to forgive her. He frowned, but didn't say anything. In the end, all this was no longer important. I knew I could make him leave with this stick. Now. But he would come back tomorrow, and the day after, and it would tear my heart to pieces. I would see him every day without being able to touch. So I concentrated all my powers and directed it to the portal. Oh, hi, GLaDOS. How are you today? <laughs> for, a, for a while, nothing happened. But then I felt a slight vibration. It's done. The passage seemed to respond. <laughs> I felt some sort of connection with it. I could destroy it if I wanted to. I think Adrian knew about this side of my abilities. And he... Planned to force me somehow to break the barrier in the future, but he didn't know yet that I figured out how to break the portal and close this world forever. I 
I didn't need any spells to destroy, freeze, or open the way to the dark world anymore. I could just monologue about it, tell all kinds of weird shit. I used a banana to close the portal. He's not fucking... No, we don't have Google here. <laughs> <laughs> the breach was created from a similar light as I used to create the barrier. Who knows? Maybe many centuries ago, another key opened the portal to the dark side. Too bad, but I was not destined to find it out. Dun, dun, dun. Gabriel, go to your brother. You need it. Ah, Just in time, he raised it, make his blue. <laughs> <laughs> You raised at me his side blind. It's like if a Russian tried to do a country western song. Oh, no. <laughs> I knew he'd leave thinking he could come back tomorrow. And when he finds out it's impossible, he won't be able to forgive himself for leaving. But I wanted him to spend all energy trying to move on and be happy. I'll come back. What the fuck did I just say? <laughs> I'll be waiting. <laughs> Forgive me. Try to be happy. You should have said that rather than I'll be waiting because it makes him want to come back. It gives him hope. Yeah, it's, it's very silly. When Gabriel passed through the breach and was far away from it, I enhanced the connection with the portal. Apparently somebody's walking on some ice and it's about to crack. I felt the vibration and I mentally began to swing it, feeling how unstable it becomes, as if its invisible base started to crack. Diana? I ignored him. What are you? <laughs> he knew it was the end, just couldn't believe it. Danny, think of your father. You'll never see him again. He didn't deserve to lose his wife and daughter. I knew that Adrian was standing away from me and his voice was just in my head. He can't do anything to me. I put all my efforts to destroy the poor pill immediately. Dana, wait. I'm not your enemy. It's too late. Something cracked inside the portal and it collapsed in a million pills like broken like a broken glass. <laughs> no one <laughs> could see it, but I felt the portal was gone. If we went to the Terrace of the Dark Man now, we would find ourselves in an abandoned old room with cracked walls. A grim memory of possible happiness. Isn't this uplifting, folks? Oh. Adrian, <laughs> damn, Adrian came up to me with a distressed look. I didn't want to keep you captive here forever. I just wanted to understand the nature of your power and how could it help me? Well, you're a fucking idiot. Why didn't you just tell me? I looked at him and without answering went into the darkness of the park. Now there were two empty souls in this dead world. Me and Adrian. The only thing that distinguishes us is that almost nothing ties him with that world. Oh no! Yeah! <laughs> Almost a month has passed since that day. I'm the narrator now, bitches! I got better and wanted to celebrate my second life, but the things around weren't so good. Since then we live as if after an atomic war. Madeline couldn't stop crying for weeks. <laughs> <laughs> when Diana destroyed the portal, I knew she... Oh, fuck. I knew she was gifted. She was Nan's granddaughter, after all. But I was not prepared for the fact that Gabriel would fall in love with her. It's, it's, it's madness. After the incident with Lily, it took him a year to get over it, and he's still a gloomy bear. Rawr. What will happen now? I'm afraid he's unlikely to... He bounces from... Melancholy to aggression. A few times he took it out of Madeline. I don't think she's an innocent lamb, but it. Oh. <laughs> this is so dumb. <laughs> it doesn't make any sense now. Why is he the narrator? Why? <laughs> I don't know. 
After all, she had suffered too. Once I jokingly offered to burn her at the stake like a... Like a... lamb? Which for all her sins? But Pete looked at her so seriously, as if he was really considering the... <laughs> I do. He'll be able to forgive her soon. The only thing they have in common is that they both refuse to leave the mansion. I've never talked this much in my life. <laughs> oh. Oh. What's the point? Without portal, the dark side does not exist. We will not find our peace in this city. <laughs> Several pieces, yes, but the one. The police came. All over the... Several... Oh, no, you're not helping. Yeah. Several times looking for Diana. I thought my brother would jump out of the window with grief and guilt. Oh. But no. He spent a few nights in the library. He didn't sleep and I think did not eat. <laughs> but as a result, he called red line to him and now they do not eat and sleep together. It's so fucking happy and weird. <laughs> well, maybe they'll make up before they die of... The exhaustion. I think I heard my name. I'm not used to hear it lately. <laughs> So what did you find here besides hallucinations from starvation and fatigue? What is happening? Like, Fernand, we are, like, waiting for gas. It's been a while since I've seen them so excited. Well, shall we set the table? Who did you invite? We're not sure yet, but I think it's our Bernard's relative. <laughs> See, see if the relative arrives, can, can I voice them in a Russian accent? Yes! <laughs> yes, you yes. can. Yes! When should we expect his arrival? Why all the fuss over Bernie's sibling? But who cares if it distracts them a bit from the gloomy thoughts? <laughs> My tea light is not obeying me. <laughs> I'm trying to light it, it keeps going out. It's like fucking the dark side over here. Yeah, <laughs> Honest to like be here tomorrow morning. Like, ugh, we need to get up early. I'm not happy. No, I hope not too early. I would not want to oversleep. Fernand! Come on, I'm kidding. We'll meet this dude. We'll <laughs> <laughs> get up so early. I would not. Oh my god, it's getting. <laughs> I would not stood up at such a high time, <laughs> even for a visit of the Queen. Oh, the visit! Oh, Jesus! But here we are, waiting for someone. Having forgotten the past, Gabriel and Madeline are constantly to each other. Anyway, what do they really want to discuss with childhood photos of Bernard or what? What? But Bernard? But the law. I don't know. We have been sitting in the living room 30 minutes waiting for the guest. The silence became more and more unbearable every minute. I couldn't take this goddamn silence. So how did you find this dude? Oh my god, Fernand. <laughs> <laughs> we found his email address. <laughs> Bernard's computer. <laughs> And he immediately agreed to come. He came hard. Oh my! <laughs> we like only tried to tell him about the death of Bernard. Oh, geez. How he showed some like awareness and him uh, in general. It would be more logical to like talk to him personally. Oh god, guys, what's gonna happen? I don't know. Super! Lament! <laughs> <laughs> He does not mind coming here. I would tell him to run away. Uh, yeah. Madeline and Gabriel looked at each other. What the yeah, fuck but he's that himself. Sorry, Mickey Mouse is going insane in the background. Yes, he is. I was like, say he totally insisted. Oh my god. There was a knock at the, on the door. Kremlin? the guest. Let's do Yes. Let's check out this man. Oh! <laughs> oh my god, Russian guy. This was clearly not Oh, what? This was clearly not a distant relative. 
Bernard himself appeared in front of us, only dressed in a different way. It's not like there's a thing as identical twins or anything in the world. Gentlemen and lady, <laughs> I'm very glad. I'm Gregor, Bernard's brother, previous. <laughs> as I understand it, you are the guardians. Wow, everyone's here. Let's get to party. Oh my god. Some awareness? Look like he's quite a tuned in dude. <laughs> Gabriel Sides. <Yeah. laughs> and had yeah, it here. I didn't expect you to like totally know this much. Oh my god. To know this much. <laughs> my brother has been butler of mansion for many years. Such <laughs> outstanding. Guardian passed through his hands. <laughs> of course, I know what, but let's not waste any time. I oh. want to go to the dark side <laughs> of Russia. Recently, this world has begun to show, more, show some instability. Oh my god. To the dark side? Da, my boy. But of course, <laughs> under your protection. Oh my god! The old man grinned, but we all stared at him and didn't know what to say. Shit! Like, Gregor, you see, a month ago? I thought it was a year ago. It was a year ago! You see, a month ago? <laughs> the part I, think, of I don't know. Oh. It's like totally destroyed. The dark side is like totally gone. Yeah, we broke it. What an absurd! How did you destroy the portal? With a gun. <laughs> Geralt, whom the prophecy described as a key, was able to close the passage. There you go. The key, apparently right here. <sighs> you mean some someone had the ability to destroy both? Where is this girl? <laughs> Gabriel turned away, apparently unable to answer the question, and once again towards the reality that tormented him. I came to Of course she did. <laughs> she stayed there. The old man flushed. Then he wiped his hands because he knows good toilet hygiene. He seemed angry. <laughs> we did not fix this portal and build a house around it centuries ago so that you could destroy it. What madness. And you... <laughs> also locked the key on dark side. It is not difficult to destroy the portal, my dear. <laughs> my dear. <laughs> my dear. My yeah. dear. Buzzy boss. <laughs> but the dark side will not disappear. And it will find a way to contact us, connect us with the world. But the consequences can be disastrous. And the only person who was able to shed light so to speak, is lost on the dark side. Can I just say, I love that your Russian accent hints of German and French. Yeah, and no, it's, it's, it's a really amazing. <laughs> it's, it's, it's quite a broad spectrum. It's quite a broad spectrum yeah. of Europe. He, he's, a very, awesome. he's a very educated man. He is very educated. He's like Susie. It's, it's, it's like Susie has three accents, like literally modelled into one accent. It's like so oh, weird. <laughs> it's the Heinz. It's, it's the Heinz fifty two accent. You don't know where it's all coming from. Yeah, it's like she says <laughs> stuff that sounds Scottish, then she says stuff that's like English, then she sounds American. It's so weird. <laughs> it's yeah. like a. It's like a swallowed. It's a small world. Yeah, it's a small <laughs> world after all. Just in your like after voice. all. It's a small world in Russia. Russia. <laughs> Excuse me, good sir. Who said you built a portal? Da, I did. <laughs> Not me personally, said... of course. Many centuries ago, when the portal was unstable, sure and showed up in the like Butler Dynasty intervened. <laughs> different places. Its monsters went on rampage in different cities and terrified the people. Then the key. Sacrificed herself and formed a stable passage, which we could use and study the other side. <laughs> but what now? Is there a way to restore the portal? My brother's eye 
eyes were sh I got distracted, sorry. The mouse <laughs> in the corner uh, was shining. Looks like he came to live? Life? Isn't that meant to be life? Mm. The old man's- it's meant to be life. The old man smiles slyly. Of course, my boy. As I said, the dark side, one way or another. We'll find a way to connect. Oh, that went fast. But you <laughs> have If she is a safe and sound, we can restore the portal without sacrifice. And I really hope we can do it on the same place. That's like totally great. Where do we start? <laughs> to begin with, we will have to watch the dark side for several days in order to identify common ground with this world. And then somehow we have to contact the key. I need a carrier of her blood and an emotionally oh, no. significant subject. Oh, he returns. He, he returns. Oh, God. He needs a carrier bag. Can we get that in English? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Gregor was obviously unhappy that he had to repeat himself. Did her blood relative stay here? And does she have a boyfriend? Uh, she's she's not she's she's in a, it's complicated relationship. Yes, <laughs> we could <laughs> we couldn't help staring at Gabriel. <gasps> Uh, what? <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh my god, no. Abrupt or what? There's no way. Is that an ending? What? Is that a sequel? Nah, I mean, yeah, the... I don't know. I think you stopped saying something. Oh my god. Oh my, well. Well done. Like, well done. What, what a beautiful game. What the fuck oh, was that? <laughs> <laughs> what the ever loving shitballs was that? <laughs> oh no! Yay. Gabriel's as an elf! Oh, uh, guys. Well, so, they might find her. They might. This is, yeah, maybe is there a sequel? Done. Someone Google it. Is there a sequel? I, I don't know, and I don't know if I. Care. <laughs> right. I care. I just. We're <laughs> uh, emotionally invested. The dark yeah. side game, part two. Metal from the dark side. Adrian is keeping me alive. <laughs> uh. Uh, dark side. Oh my god. Nope. I, I can't. There's nothing on this game. It doesn't help. Nope. Nothing at all. Finally, just trying to see. Uh. What's it again? Where's all the reviews? No, they're looking at people. Yeah, we're just looking it up. Um, uh, the Eye Contact Games is the publisher for it. All these, all these reviews are in Russian. That does not help. <laughs> I cannot translate. I cannot translate. I need to get the Google. Guys, I'm pretty sure there is no I sequel. I, I'm pretty sure there is no sequel. I think that's it. I think that's our end. I think that's it done. The end. I I I just don't know. Like we we'll is... only look at the photos, right? We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine missing out of eleven. Wait. Oh oh oh! I just went on. I just went on Eye Contact Games Twitter. They're working on another game show Ooh. for lovers. Oh. Wait for Ooh. the dark side or another game. It's another game. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> right. Thank you everyone for joining us um on this. I'm so emotionally attached, but we have to let it go. We have to move on. Let it go. Let it go. Ooh. Don't Can't hold. Get any more. 
Let it's it go. Me back anymore. Right. <laughs> My lovelies. Avida Sin, and thank you for being with me during this. Goodbye. Goodbye!